Okay, welcome students. We are on our dcaclab.com uh, backslash en backslash lab backslash. It's the link that I posted on Edmodo that you have access to. Screen should look familiar. I uh, always want to remind you to widen our box here so we have as much workable space as possible. Uh, I like to move this components off to the left just so it's out of the way, not blocking our power switch. Uh, move our little illustration box off to the side. We're not going to need any of that. Um, let's see here. We got task number one. All right, task number one, uh, if you are reading along as I am working, you are to use two green bulbs and two, or I'm sorry, four red bulbs to create a circuit. Okay, no, doesn't really matter what type of green you're using. All right, I got my two bulbs there. I'm going to go grab four more. I like keeping them lined up so we don't have stuff all over the place. Add all four at one time. Get our supplies out here. Let's change these to red. Some festive holiday lights. Tis the season. So we have two green, two red. They have to share the same battery, so we get one battery. I like putting it in the middle sideways, and it needs to be 5 volts. So I'm going to click on the 3. I delete it. I hit 5, and I have to press Enter. Okay, if you don't press Enter, it doesn't change. You can see that it changed right here. Now, if I just type in the number 10, this did not change to 10. You have to press Enter. Okay, so there it changed to 10, but that's not what we want. So I go 5. You can notice again, nothing changes until I press the Enter key. So I press enter, we now have a 5 volt battery. All, right, all of the bulbs need to be equally as bright. They each need their own switch. So I'm going to add a switch over to here. Maybe we'll add it sideways. Switch over to here. I like having the symmetrical um, circuits built, just so it's a little bit easier to work with. We don't have wires going all over. So I'm going to hook them up. I know some of you like to change your background color a little bit. Maybe we go to a black background or this reddish color. Keep it tan. Okay, maybe make it this white color. Doesn't really matter. But you can always change that thing if you'd like. I'm going to head back to that tan, that original original color we've been looking at. You can see we have one circuit over here, another circuit over here. Okay, they do operate on their own switches. So that's step number one. Okay, you can see we have one loop and we have another loop. Two separate loops allow them to work off of the same battery, but if one of these bulbs burns out, or if one of these bulbs burn out, it's not going to make the other side go out, which is the beautiful thing about a parallel circuit, or what we call a multi-loop circuit. There are multiple loops. Think of a loop like on your shoelace. Right? It kind of looks like a loop here, represent, uh, represents that. Next thing we have to do is we have to see if they are equal to one another. So I'm going to grab a voltmeter. Okay, I'm going to haul this over here. Test these red ones. 1.25 volts. So I'm going to go test my green ones. Negative 2.5. Now remember, the negative sign means nothing in terms of quantity. All that tells us is the direction. So I'm going to grab the red one. I'm actually just going to put it over here so it's easier to understand. 2.5, 1.25. These green bulbs are double the brightness. Okay, they are double the brightness. So what we need to do is we need to figure out a way that we can cut this brightness in half. Remember, we cannot change the resistance of the bulbs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go remove this wire. Obviously, it breaks our circuit. We no longer have a flow. Our circuit is broken. Right? We, we do not have a circuit. The same thing would happen is if one of the filaments blew in the bulb. The little filament in there, if that blew, it would not work. So I'm going to grab a resistor. I'm going to add a resistor in there. You can see our number one from... 2.5 to 1.66. Not quite all the way there. We're still a little bit short. Well, I click on the resistor. My resistance is 1. Well, I'm going to experiment a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to go to 2. I press enter. Bam. 1.25 volts. This one here is 1.25 volts. We now have equal brightness. So the solution to number 1 is you have to make two separate loops and the resistor must be at 2 on the green side. We don't want to put a resistor on the red side because they already are less, uh, less bright, okay, more dim than the green ones. Okay, the red ones are not functioning 
as bright as the green ones. So we needed to lower right, the amount of electricity getting to these bulbs. So we added a resistor, slowing that down. You can see that they are working at the same pace at this point. Well, if I change this resistance to 10, look how much slower that's, uh, that's moving, way slower. And it's much, much less. Even though it says 4.16, it's negative it's 1 to the negative 10. So really, we have to move this decimal over 1 to right here. So this number right now is 0 0.416, which is not even close to as bright as 1.25. Let's go back to our original number that it should be, 2. You can see we have equal electricity, equal flow, equal brightness. That's the solution for number 1.